Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So our topic for today is stating the null and alternative hypothesis. So this is the first step that we do when we test the hypothesis. Okay, but before that, let me tell what the hypothesis basically means. The hypothesis is the formulated and educated guess. Okay, so let me recall the two types. So these are null and alternative. Okay, so we learned that in statistics and probability for senior high school students. Okay, so we're now going to apply in stating the null and alternative hypothesis for the following research titles. So first, title is the perceptions of millennials towards Twitter and Instagram. So let me tell the symbols for null, which is H sub zero, for the alternative, which is H sub A. So for the null hypothesis, it is there is no significant difference between the perceptions of millennials towards Twitter and Instagram. So when we say null hypothesis, there is no significant difference. When we say alternative hypothesis, there is a significant difference between the perceptions of millennials towards Twitter and Instagram. So can you see the difference? Okay, so when we say null, no significant. When we say alternative, there is a significant. So this is for the comparative research titles. For the correlational research title, namely the relationship between attitudes and academic performances of millennials towards practical research too. So what is the null hypothesis there? Okay, so it means to say that there's no significant relationship between the attitudes and academic performances of millennials towards practical research too. When we say alternative, there is a significant relationship between the attitudes and academic performances of millennials towards practical research too. So this is for the correlational research titles. Okay, we're now going to apply it in word problem. So the grade one students aim to obtain an average grade of 80 in general mathematics. However, their teacher wants to test them if they can meet their aim by conducting an examination. So the null hypothesis states that the mean is equal to 80. So this is the null hypothesis. However, the alternative hypothesis states that the mean is not equal to 80. So this type of alternative hypothesis is non-directional. When we say non-directional hypothesis, we can use the term not equal to. And the test that we're going to use is a two-tailed test. Okay, so we're going to use two tails because there is no specific comparison. Okay, in the second problem, the beauty pageant candidates are measured in terms of height. The average height are at least 170 centimeters. The judge disagrees with the value and decides to remeasure the height of each candidate. So the null hypothesis states that the mean is greater than or equal to 170. So 170 is the lowest based on the criteria. However, it can be equal to this mean. Okay, so this is the null hypothesis. When we say alternative hypothesis, so we can state the other way around, which is the mean is less than 170. So the type of this alternative hypothesis is directional. When we say directional, we can use the term less than or greater than. Okay, so we're going to use the one-tailed test for this kind of alternative hypothesis because there is a specific comparison. So in problem three, it is believed that at most 70% of the registered voters living in Mandaluya are aged from 21 to 25. The surveyor disagrees with this value and conducts a survey with 200 registered voters living in Mandaluyong. Okay, so the null hypothesis states that the P is less than or equal to 0 0.70. So it means to say that 0 0.70 is the greatest. However, this can be equal to this percentage. Okay, so when we say alternative, P is greater than 0 0.70. So keep in mind that the null and alternative hypothesis are exactly opposites. Okay, so again, this is a directional hypothesis and because 
it has a specific comparison and we're going to use one tail test for it so do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel and hit the notification bell so stay tuned for more videos about research and mathematics so thank you and god bless happy learning